Welcome back everyone. Now that you have started understanding personality, the traits, the types, now let's look at something which is very important and very imminent. What is it? How many times have you told yourself or to someone else, especially your mama and papa, I need this, I want this. Mama, can you give me this? Can you give me that? Can you buy me this phone? Can you buy me this toy? Can I get this? Can I get that? Okay. What is it? It's all your needs, the needs and wants that we have. And people say that human needs and wants are unlimited. But what forms these needs? Why do we feel that we need this or we need that? Be it um, a food, be it toys, be it anything, affection, love, sense of security. These are all needs that we as human beings have and for that matter, even animals have. Everybody needs that care, love, nutrition, nurture to grow and form habits, become what we are. This also comes under personality because if our needs are met, we move on to the next level. If our needs are not met, we strive hard to attain that. If we get more than we need, there are some changes that happen. So need is very important in formation of our personality. Let's look at what are these needs. I'm going to take you through several psychological um, studies that have been done, this being one and then we will look at one or two more in order to understand what are needs, okay? So, needs in development, okay, overall development and personality development. There are four basic needs, the need for attachment, need for control or orientation, need for pleasure or avoidance of pain and need for self-enhancement. These are the four category of needs defined by one psychologist. Then we have other psychologists who similar in similar categorization, but then the maybe the classification is something else. There are many psychologists who have defined need and more or less is the same thing. It's just that they have structured something, the characterization or classification is a bit different, but overall it all, boils down to few of the classifications that in general we talk about. Now in, one, in the stages of development we saw that in the oral stage the, when the child sucks milk in the, in the sucking age that is when the attachment comes and I told you that when the child drinks his mother his or her mother's milk there is an attachment that gets formed and the child smiles at the mother because he understand he or she understands that this is what love care and attachment is okay that is where your need for attachment gets fulfilled need for control control as in control in your actions and your orientation that you develop overall orientation how do you orient to things how do you look at things need for pleasure and we have seen in this in the stages also the need for pleasure, need for entertainment, need for entitlement and avoidance of pain. We do not want any pain in our lives. We, we want to be deviating away whenever we see pain. Nobody wants to undergo any sort of painful events in their lives. That is a need and need for self-enhancement wherein we feel that we have achieved a lot. Now let's pass it on to the society. Now let's look at each of, each of these in a bit detail. The human reliance on others. So attachment means we are social beings, okay? So this need of ours, wherein we form the habit of being with social beings is what the first need is, human reliance on others. Our attachment to people is one of the most basic and powerful neurobiological or psychological need. We want to be among humans. We want to be among pets. We want to be among people. We, want, we, want to be, we, we don't want to be among wild animals, right? Like Mowgli or uh, Tarzan. So as humans, we want to be with humans. We want to be with people who we feel comfortable with, we feel safe and secured with. That is a basic need, attachment. We want to be with people. We want to be in a company. And this is where uh, becoming uh, the forming the trait of solitary or uh, gregarious comes into picture. So when the need for you to, is to be with 
people or in a society that is how you become either gregarious or solitary depending on what kind of orient uh, what kind of orientation or the environmental factors that have come into play in the movie mowgli mowgli did not know how to deal with humans because he never got that attachment he all the attachment that he got was from his mother who is who was an animal so he did not know how to interact with humans so he would not be able to mix with humans his personality is such that he will only be comfortable with animals but we in general that's just a story but in general also human beings would want to be in a society in a company okay when they feel safe secure and attached control our orientation the need for orientation and control is the fundamental human need i want to control i i don't want the situation to go against me i, I want to control everything around me okay sense of control we create our own conception of reality a model of reality we believe that this is what real reality is into which we try and make sense of our experiences and we we would always want the experiences to be good we aim to attain perceptions of our world that satisfy or align with our goals we want a world an ideal world wherein whatever we, the goals that we have set in kind of we meet those we do the aiming through motivational schemas to satisfy the goals which are our basic needs so when we have this orientation and control we would want the traits that we develop is we would want to fulfill our goals we would want to visualize we would we would want to set goals set objectives and aim towards it with orientation now there are people who cannot focus by gen, um, by nature somehow they cannot focus on things so they do not know how to frame their goals they do not know what steps they should be taking to fulfill their goals that is the kind of personality trait they have yet uh, again you will see there are children who by now have decided what they want to become so they are focused okay i have to crack my iit i have to crack my je i have to become a doctor i want to become a police officer i want to uh, you know go to go for higher studies in a foreign country so they have already decided they have orientation and they have control in the goals that they set in they want to control the environment because that is the kind of personality trait they have developed because of the need that they have if people do, people do not have the need of control and orientation they will not be focused they will not know there are many adults who yet do not know, do not know what they want to do with their lives next okay so the need for orientation and control this we have done already sorry this need for control when we are infants is closely linked with our need for attachment so it's kind of closely related with the first need that is attachment because the infant is totally relying on an attachment figure for all his or her needs so the need for orientation will get developed if you get the attachment of uh, from your parents from your caretaker and any violation of our attachment need is also a violation of our need for control so we let's say we have not got the right kind of an uh, environment and we do not know what is love care we will not be able to have focus we will not be able to control so these are all one when one gets fulfilled we reach to the other level at a very basic level a cry from an infant to get attention which we have seen because she or he or she is hungry is both control and attachment behavior if the cry is ignored there is a loss of control to be fed so if if somebody ignores that cry that there is a loss of control the child now knows okay this is not the behavior that we have to so the child will not get the right kind of an environment the child will not know okay this is what i need this is the love and care that i need and then there will be some difficulty in the personality trait formation and attachment to have the proximity of a mother so when at a very basic level when the child is crying the infant is crying and he wants he or she wants food and is not given then there is a loss of control to be fed and the loss of attachment to have proximity that is closeness towards his or her mother there is a high sense of control when we have a large number of options left open to us the more restricted our options are the less sense of control we have so when we've got options we feel the sense of control but when the options are very less like when you are an infant and you've not been fed you know you know there is no other option left so either you will stop crying or you will maybe keep crying 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 to the point wherein there is a breakdown because you do not know what the other options are 
the need for orientation or to understand what is going on is tightly interwoven, it's tightly linked with a sense of control. To have clarity about a situation is to have a sense of control. When you get a clarity of the situation, this is how it should be done. These are my options. This is how I weigh my options. If you do not get that during your attachment stage, you will not understand these options. So if you do not understand the options, you will not be able to evaluate your options. When we don't think or when we don't know what is going on in our environment, there can be high levels of stress and anxiety. We do not know what is going around. We do not know what the options are. We do not know how to control. We do not know how to be um, feeling attached. Then there is always this sense of uh, anxiety that grows inside us and we tend to become someone who, whose social skills are almost nosedive zero. We would not be able to make friends. We will not be able to decide what, which options to take. We will not be able to build a good career and future because our attachment need and the sense of control need have not been fulfilled due to some reasons. Now pleasure or avoidance of pain. We are motivated to attain pleasant experiences and you saw this uh, when you are at the oral stage that there is a sense of pleasure. Okay, When you are fed you get the pleasure that gratification and to avoid so we want to have pleasure and we want to avoid unpleasant situations or circumstances. There is a basic process of evaluating what is good and what is bad or unpleasant and a motivation to maximize our experience of the good and limit the bad. So when, when we want to have pleasant full experience th there should be a motivation behind seeing what is good for us, what is bad for us and I want my uh, experiences to be good. Even in the case of suffering from the for the greater good, the denial of some pleasures to attain something of greater worth further down the track is founded on this basic need. Example here is, do not go deep into what I have written. So I have seen and this is an example from one of my colleagues uh, when, I, when I was into teaching, I used to teach MBA students marketing services, marketing, retail marketing and all these papers. There was one professor, my colleague, very senior to me though. And I used to see him always engrossed in books, okay, he's reading, he's researching, he's writing and I used to ask him, he never used to eat on time, he never used to associate with us, he never used to have fun, it's always that he's inside the cabin when not teaching, doing some research work, doing something or the other. Once I went to him and I asked that, sir, why are you so engaged and engrossed in whatever you are doing, there is life beyond this, right? Then he gave me a smile and he said, this is not the first year that I'm doing this. I've been doing this since last seven years. Not only me, my family has also compromised and they will keep compromising. I will keep compromising on my pleasures, on these recreations that we could have, I could have gone for. But I'm using those, these times to study because I want to clear IIT uh, research. So he wanted to become a PhD. He wanted to do his PhD from IIT. And trust me, within four, four or five months, he got into IIT as he want, he got into IIT as a research student, and then post that now he is an IIM. I think he got through an IIM Lucknow as a professor. So the meaning of this word is pleasure and avoidance of pain. So when you have the right set of environment, you have the ability and motivation to judge what should I avoid so that I can attain this. That judgmental capability many people do not have and that is because of the motivation, the need, the need to excel, the need to do something good, the greater good. That need you will only identify and move ahead and compromise for on certain things because you are highly motivated, because you have been given that environment when you were young maybe or because you have acquired this by seeing, looking at your uh, circumstances, at your environment to, s to feel that this is what I need. Now I want to grow in my career, now I want to go grow beyond this institution in his example. Okay, So that greater good you can only identify if you have the need of pleasure and if you want to avoid pain then you will look at your options. Okay, If I want to um, if I want to not cry when I score less marks, let me prepare myself for getting good marks. So let me prepare. 
that is what it means even in the case of suffering you are suffering why are you suffering because you are putting in more lots and lots of effort you could have gone out and played just like your friends but you are putting more efforts for the greater good the denial of some pleasures to attain something of greater worth you are denying denying the pres, uh, pleasure of the present situation you are not enjoying yourself but you are focusing on something else because you want to achieve something great okay this orientation this pleasure this um, avoidance of pain can only happen if you have been exposed to certain environment or you acquire this when you get this when you see this environment okay i want to be among the learned people i have to study and score good marks and if for that i have to forgo some pleasures i am ready to do that this this conviction this belief will not come to everyone that is why not everyone excels not everyone succeeds so pleasure and avoidance of pain we are still at what constitutes good pleasurable beautiful etc is very dependent upon the individual of course for for him attending a phd in iit was important for me maybe it was not important so i left teaching and i came back to corporate so his motivation was quite high because that is what he wanted to attain i never wanted to become um, an iit uh, research scholar so i am here but then that doesn't make me small or big him big or that doesn't make him a fool that he uh, for 7 8 years he compromised or you know let every pleasure go away because he wanted to become a research scholar and then go and join iims none of us is bad none of us is good evaluation of options and then deciding what is good for me it's it's up to me all right is very dependent upon the individual and how the experience of things is consistent with the satisfaction of their own basic needs so that is his need he is happy my need i am happy but of course if there is someone who doesn't want to grow in life who doesn't want to do anything sit at home and this you know expect people to feed him or her those are the people that did not have ever got the motivation or the need to do greater goods in life and these are the people we do not want to become we do not want to become dependent on anyone we do not want to be someone who is considered as lethargic or who is of no worth no of no cause at all to this world then self esteem enhancement very few people you will see have a very high self esteem the need to enhance our self esteem who we are our worth okay is a need that develops along with a sense of self so i am this is what i will become people with a very high self esteem not everybody uh, becomes mahatma gandhi not everybody becomes um martin luther king not everyone becomes steve jobs not everyone can become narayan murthy their self esteem is too high not everybody can attain that but whatever limitation in your limited capacity whatever limited capacity you have whatever limited knowledge cognizance you have through that try to achieve something great in life the need to enhance our self esteem is a need that develops along with the sense of self sometime after the other needs in an indi individual's developmental timeline so it's like once everything is done now i am at a stage as i told you earlier i am at a stage wherein i have got everything i have achieved everything now let me pass it on let me do something good for society something great for society and that is why these people are revered see steve jobs has created millions of dreams mahatma gandhi has given dreams has given us was part of freedom uh, fight that india had to see um, steve jobs as i told you has built dreams has built company a company called apple which the products of which we want to flaunt we want to showcase okay narayan murthy the kind of job opportunities this man has created and the kind of social activities the entire family is involved in including the uh, wife sudha murthy these are the people who have already attained everything in their life and money is not that motivation service is the motivation so can you it doesn't depend upon the age that you are in there are many children who do so many things so so many things irrespective of what age they are in they are doing so good you too can do that if you have a very high self esteem Uh, it requires an ability to have a developed self awareness and to think reflectively the need for self esteem enhancement is an important need and motivator so all these four needs are equally important at times you attain one and go to the other at times 
you um, you can simultaneously attain two or at times when one is not fulfilled you cannot move to the other but the needs and wants are part of human lives and these needs and wants frame our personality the type of personality we have and we want to make okay so in the next lesson we are going to see other um, types of uh, needs through other research scholar or i would call psychologist whose need study and we call it theory of motivation is a revered study we do we study this in marketing also we study this in psychology also we study this in organizational behavior also so i will take you to, through that in the next lesson thanks for watching